Okay, 2023. Where are we? October the 14th. It's Saturday. Saturday. It's about half past five on my watch. Now it's civil twilight. Just a bit before sunrise. Sunrise is in about 20 minutes or so. There is George, way down there. We are at the top of Otaniqua Pass. There's Fensterberg. And as you can guess, we're at the Sputnik, the Lunar Lander. And it's just Roy and I today. We're going to do uh, Losbach. Neither of us have done it before. We've got a good idea where to go. We'll see how things work out. It should be a good hike. It's not going to be too hot. Nice and cool. A little bit of breeze this morning. Um, we've had some rain recently. We're expecting some muddy conditions. We'll see how that works out. And yeah. Oh, and there's a there's another group, Conquer Together group. Um, they're quite a big bunch of people. They're all doing this hike today as well. And uh, but they're starting later. We decided to get an early start and and walk ahead of them. Then, as usual, wait, let's get this view. Don't know if you can actually see that. Let's see if we can do something about the lighting there. That's the way down the valley. Losberg is over there. It's not very clear in the shot at the moment, but just at the tip of my umbrella there. That's Losberg. And then that's the way to Kampferskloof and a bone crusher up the hill over there to the Skyline Ridge. Here's Pass to Pass. We're going to take the Pass to Pass trail. There it says Sputnik. And then along here somewhere there should be a turn off to the right. Halfway along the Pass to Pass. Route. Okay, so we'll check in later again. Okay, we've been at it for about 10 minutes. It's just before 22 6, and here's a little stream. It's a relatively steep climb down and there is a bit of slippery muddiness along the way. There's little Protea. You're not going to see it on the video. Just through the hole over there. And across, and now it's uphill. <laughs> Five minutes later, just past quarter two, quarter to six. Here's another little stream. Whoa! Almost saw my backside there. It is slippery. Let's go to the top of the hill here. See if we can get a view of some kind.
There are the lights of George in the distance down there below the clouds and I can see a cutting of the pass but I can't see the Sputnik from this point the radio mast nope we're behind the ridge Yeah, it's about 10 past 6 and coming down to, I think this is our third stream now, it seems to be running quite strong, let's see if we can cross it. And then after this, I think there's a final climb to the ridge and then we're going to take a T-junction and go over to Losberg in that general direction over there and here's a nice ladder for us so this seems to be quite doable this might actually even be a nice picnic spot on a hot summer's day lovely right then slip on the rocks then slip on the ladder see how this goes on all fours and big step over there there we go not too bad and then it's uphill Yeah, it's just past 25, past 6 on my watch and it looks like here's a marker at the top of this incline indicating Losberg Lookout, 1.3 kilometers and then here past to past trail to Nico Pass two kilometers away so we've just done two kilometers apparently and going to Montague Pass on the other end of Pass to Pass is another 2.4 and there's sunrise our first sunrise of the morning we've been in the shade of the valleys the whole time so sunrise according to us is about 40 minutes late and that's going to the south apparently there are two ways to do this one is over the kopi and the other one is around the kopi but we'll see when we get there It's uh, going on to 22.7, we're at the split, according to all I've been told, going to the left is going across the hill, it's a little bit shorter, going to the right is going around the hill, it's a little bit longer. Um, it looks like going to the right might actually pass an overhang, um, there's a sort of a 
cave, shallow cave in the rocks that way. Um, perhaps we'll inspect that on another day. Um, the marker where we turned off. Yes, oh, can I see? It's just on that ridge over there. It's about ish. Yes, right there. So, I don't think we've done about three kilometers yet. It's two kilometers, according to what they say on that marker. It's two kilometers from Sputnik over there to the marker. On my GPS, I've got almost 11 kilometers already, which I don't know where that came from. I cleared all the settings this morning and now suddenly we've done an extra seven kilometers, 12 kilometers, sorry, seven, eight kilometers. Anyway, here we go. 227, two minutes down the road, up the road, and here we have a bit of scrambling, not very significant. <laughs> But you're probably going to need a hand, an extra hand here, along with feet. So let's see, grab over there. Wait, stow away your umbrella. Stow away the umbrella. And grab over there. Get a high knee up here. And then step. Put a foot down there. And here we go. Going to quarter two, so the climb's over it looks like. Oh, this, this little climb over here at least. And there's Losbach. And here's another fork. And that's probably the long way around. So there might be some climbing on the longer route as well. The shorter route might actually be to our advantage. Because the longer route also climbs to the top of the hill. Actually goes right over the top of the hill looks like. So why climb longer if you don't have to? Going on to five two seven and just over there, that white spot just above the tip of my umbrella. That's the Sputnik. And it looks like there are some other vehicles parking there at the moment. The Conquer group might be arriving. They're supposed to start about seven o'clock. And we are down here at the other end of that little hill we climbed just now. Now for the last climb up. Looks very steep. Not too long of a climb. From what I've heard, all the stories I've heard, I thought this was going to be a tougher hike at the moment. That's still a good hike. One or two spots where you have to use all fours. But otherwise it's just... Walking. Ordinary upright walking. Just past seven, six past seven on my watch, which means one past seven in real time. And here we are, an hour and a half later about. Good morning, Losbach, 8.51. This is 
This is about just 51 meters above the pass, because the pass is about 800 meters at its highest point. And there's the Sputnik. You can see the line across the hills where we walked. Nice 360 view from here. And there's the town. Now can you my unveil? Super Roy, Rambo Roy. Ah. Town's just about. <laughs> Conquered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. I see. This is this is the shirt. I wasn't allowed to wear it until I peaked. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. Does it show my porch? <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Conquered together. Right. There's north and west and south. So you're facing. You're supposed to be facing east. No, north. Yeah. No, north is on your shoulder. On that shoulder over there. Okay. So it's. So okay. that's facing east. Now you're properly orientated. Yeah. There we go. Woo! My GPS. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling your way around. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, well, here we are. Time for a snack, I think. About breakfast time. Okay, it's just past eight o'clock, five past eight, and we're heading back. Had a nice long, what was it? Was it an hour? We spent an hour there now, just so. sitting around. Lack, <laughs> man. Yeah, it was a good chat. And we're heading back, and the Conquer group is just on the opposite side of this first ridge here. Uh, it looks like they're sort of deciding which way they want to go over the ridge or around the ridge or whatever and We've decided we're going to take the long way back just to see what it's like Since it's not such a long hike and we've got the time Yeah, and this is, uh, this is a relatively steep down climb Actually, looking down now, it's... Oh, we're not going straight down. This this bends around the corner and sort of zigzags down. So that makes it a little bit easier, yeah. Twenty-five post, yeah, twenty-five post eight, and here's the split, and we're going left again, over the top, and around the bend to see what that looks like. Hopefully, we'll pass that that cave overhang thing. See what that's all about. Uh, it's about 25 to 9. I think this is the overhang. Let's see if there's a... It's not very deep, looks like. And it's probably not going to give you a whole lot of shelter if the wind's blowing the wrong way and there's rain coming down.
Let's just watch out for a stringy thing here in the back. It's latching onto everything yeah. here. Thanks. I'll tuck it away shortly. Doesn't look like there's much salt in here. And it looks like this path is significantly more overgrown than the other one that goes straight over the top. Now it starts clearing up again. Yeah. Doesn't seem as if this one's the, as popular as it used to be. Going on to 22.9 and here we are at the other split on the other side of the hill. And going on to 10 to 9 and we're at the pass to pass split. Going back to the Sputnik, there's another group over there, you probably won't see them, just behind the yellow flowers. And two kilometers to get back to the Sputnik. And from everything everybody tells me, or well, they're trying to convince me, um, the last climb is the worst. It was nice and simple, well relatively simple. Except for the muddy slipperiness coming down this morning, but going back up is all uphill. So let's see how that turns out. Five past nine, and we're back at the the big stream where the ladder is, and things are muddy and slippery. Need to tread carefully. Thankfully somebody's decided to cut some steps here in the soil. It helps a bit. And then let's see how do we do this. Carefully sit down. Long step. Alright. There we go. Go and slip on the rocks. There we go. go. Not too bad. Thanks for the demonstration. <laughs> Got that on video. How old do do it? <laughs> and here's the climb. Going uphill. So we'll see how things go. Okay, it's about quarter past nine. It looks like we're getting to the top of this first hill here. On the other side, there's a valley still, and then another uphill after that before we get back to the Sputnik. It's not necessarily a long distance, but it's a relatively slow climb. Uh, okay, it looks like looks like there might still be another hill after. <sighs> yeah, this was a full summit, so don't get your hopes up. We still have to get to the top of that. I hope that's not a false summit. We'll report back a little bit later. 
half past nine and it looks like we're nearing the top of the ridge hopefully this isn't a false summit No, it looks good. And there's a spitik in the distance on the opposite ridge. Now it's just another valley and then another uphill and we're there. This looks actually a little bit more level. It's a bit of a downhill here. You're shaking your head, Roy. Oh, on the opposite end. All right. So I'm getting my hopes up again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here we go. 25 to 10. Is it only five minutes since my last recording? Okay. And here's our next little stream. <laughs> Sorry, say again. Did we cross this one? <laughs> we did. This is this is the second one. Yeah, the first one coming this way. No, this is the second one, and there are three of them. There's still another one in the next valley over. Is it? Yeah. Remember, we haven't really gone down into the next valley yet. This is relatively level still. Yeah. And then there's a, there's a big step over here, and then some mud and slipperiness to negotiate. Twenty to ten. Um, we're slowly descending into the next valley. I don't think it's going to be all that horrible. Uh, the incline on the other end doesn't seem to be all that steep. Might be fairly longish, but not all that steep. Quarter two. Here's the last stream going up the hill, and there's the Sputnik sticking out of the top. So we're close to home, but it's still a last uphill to go. And this is slippery and steep. And step over. There we go. Here we climb. Right, let's go home. to 10 on my watch so here we are back at the Sputnik it's been a good hike when did we start half past five half past six half past seven half past eight half past nine I'd say four and a half hours yeah it was a good hike quite enjoyable Right, E O. Safe and sound. Here we are, back home. Thanks, Roy. It's been great.